Captain Jack here, day five. You've made it this far, that's commendable, but you still got a ways to go. We're about to dock this baby on the island and there's gonna be headhunters and cannibals that's trying to guard the treasure. They know where it's at. They're trying to prevent us from getting it. We're gonna burn the boat. We're not going back. We're going to apprehend this treasure. We're gonna finish this challenge strong. But I've heard some of you reach out to me and say, I'm worried about the weekend, Captain Jack. The week was pretty easy for me because I was busy. My mind wasn't idle, I was busy. I wasn't as tempted, but this weekend, I've got this thing coming up and that thing coming up, and I'm anxious about the weekend. I have an anxiety about it. This is where I usually have to tap out. This is where I usually give up. I self-sabotage at the end of a challenge, Captain Jack. Well, you can rest assured you will again this time too. Anxiety. Anxiety is of the devil. The Bible says that if anxiety fills a man or woman's heart, it'll crush their spirit. You'll look for a way out when you're full of fear and anxiety. But how you counter that is with a good word. You talk about what you can have and not about what you cannot have. You speak words that are powerful when you say, I am, I can, I will, I won't. You've made it this far. Why would you let your heart be filled with anxiety? What kind of cowardice is that? That's lily liver cowards talking. You come this far, you should be more excited. You should have the attitude that nothing's going to stop you now. Speak good words. Speak powerful words. Die daily to the love and the practice of the chimichanga. Finish this challenge. You'll feel a sense of pride. Your confidence will grow. Your self-discipline muscles will come alive again. If you say no for today, there's more buried treasure where we can earn for good measure, get out of jail free cards. This particular treasure was buried by a certain pirate. And rather than tell you about this pirate's exploits, I'll just say this. Many, many years after in the wild, wild west, there was a famous cowboy that had a similar name. Think about the movie Young Guns and the primary protagonist in the movie Young Guns, and you will figure out which pirate has hid the treasure with the get-out-of-jail-free card.